In this video, I'll show you how to fix your LG Smart TV in case one of the app is not working or not working properly. I'll show you a few different solutions. Try them all. I'll start with the easiest one and at the end, we'll fix this problem together. So let's get started with solution number one. Unplug your LG TV from the wall socket or from the power strip. Even if it's turned on, this does not matter. Simply pull the plug. Now you can set this aside and we need to find the power button that is located under your LG TV. Sometimes it's right under the LG logo, but other times it's on the right side or the left side. Let me show you. If I flip the TV, you're gonna notice over here, there's a button. You need to keep press this power button during 30 seconds. So keep it press. Even if the TV is turned off, this will simply drain the remaining energy that was still stuck in the TV. After 30 seconds, you can release this button. Now, before plugging the TV back, you need to wait at least 10 minutes. So be patient, put this down and come back after 10 minutes. When it's time to reconnect your LG TV, I suggest you do not use any power strip. Sometimes these are causing the problems. They are not able to distribute enough power to your TV. And this is why you may have issues. So this is why I recommend you plug your TV directly into the wall socket. Sometimes these can get defective as well. So if you're still having an issue, try plugging it in another one. Okay, if this didn't work, what we need to do now is once the TV is turned on, you're gonna find the app that you have troubles with in the, the, in the home setting. So you can press the home button here to make this appear. And then with the arrows, find the app, let's say, which is the app I'm having issues with. I'll keep press this center button, this OK button on the remote control once I have highlighted the app. Keep it press. And then over here, gonna tap the top arrow on the remote control to select the garbage bin, and then press the middle button here. Select yes, and this will delete the app. Now it's time to reinstall it. And sometimes by doing this, it will install the newer version that were not that wasn't able to install previously and it will work. So, so now in this menu, we're gonna go back because we need to exit it. And then you need to select apps in this home menu. Go ahead and search for the app we have just deleted. Usually with the magnifying glass here, it's much more easier than to search through their menus just like that. Usually just by typing two letters, it's enough to see it in uh, the suggestions here. Tap on the app. Okay, perfect. And press install. This will reinstall the app and hopefully now you won't have any issues. What if you're still not able to use it? If this solution didn't work, I suggest you do the same thing, but with your Wi-Fi router. So go ahead and unplug it from the wall socket, wait five minutes, plug it back, wait another five minutes until it connects to the internet, and then check on your LG TV if it's able to connect to the internet and use your apps. If this didn't work, what I suggest is to go into the settings of your LG TV, press the cog icon here to open the settings. This will open on the left side, go all the way down and select all settings. Go all the way down and select network. Okay. Then select Wi-Fi connection. Press OK. Like that. Select other network settings. Then go down and select advanced Wi-Fi settings. And over here, turn this off. Usually it's IPv6. Turn this off. Go down. Select edit. Go down again. And by the way, if uh, here set automatically is checked, uncheck it. This way we'll be able to edit something. Go over DNS server. Press OK. And type 8 
0.8.8.8. So whatever is written here before, clear it all, remove it and type again 8.8.8.8. Once this is done, go ahead, press enter here, press connect. And usually these should be all green telling you that your TV is finally connected to the Wi-Fi. Now another thing we can try is to update the TV. So go into settings, go down, select all settings, select support, select software update. Here auto update may be turned off. So you need to select check for updates, wait a few seconds. And if there is an update, it will show you here. If there is no update available, you're gonna have no updates and well, you cannot do anything if it's that, but this is just another way on how to solve this issue. If your TV is not updated, it may have trouble launching apps. So hopefully one of these solution worked for you. If you have another one that you had success with, please type it down below in the comments. If not, simply leave a like, again, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.